I was right. One year ago, a younger, less intelligent YouTuber posted a video about which state is the most underrated to hoop in. <laughs> then, <laughs> the great tragedy of the summer occurred, and all his videos were deleted by accident. This was me, but what exactly did I predict? On March 24th, 2023, I posted this video. In it, I broke down which state is the best to play basketball in, and here's what I said. It was during the Sweet 16 when I posted this, and I thought UConn were gonna win it, or at least go to the Final Four. Lo and behold, I was correct, and they're gonna do the same this year. But just because one college is good doesn't make the whole state good. Wrong. I'ma break down this take for four reasons why Connecticut is the most underrated state to play basketball in. The first is colleges. We have several D1 schools, but what exactly are they? The second are former Connecticut basketball players. The third is current ranked high schoolers, and the Fourth is current Connecticut college athletes. So let's get into it. There are 61 schools in Connecticut, and that's more than the sum of these states. And for the 23 24 season, every single school in Connecticut had their best season yet. Many of you know St. Peter's and the Dug a Dirt Run and the March Madness tournament that happened a few years ago. St. Peter's is from the Metro Atlantic Athletic Conference, where both Quinnipiac and Fairfield are from. Quinnipiac and Fairfield are both in Connecticut, and they are both rivals. And it just so happens to be the top two teams from this conference that year or Quinnipiac and Fairfield. The first place team is my hometown team, Quinnipiac, which I support and have been to a couple of their games. As I said, Fairfield are their rivals, and unfortunately, I have a lot of friends that live in Fairfield, so I did go to one of Fairfield's games, but don't get me wrong, they are the ops. Unfortunately, neither of these teams made March Madness this year, but that's because St. Peter's is absolutely cracked when it comes to playoffs. There is another conference with two Connecticut schools in here, and that's the Northeast Conference. This year, the Northeast Conference regular season champions were Central Connecticut, and in third place was seeded Sacred Heart, which is actually in Fairfield, as well as Fairfield University. Fortunately, like the last two, these two teams choked in the conference playoffs and did not make March Madness. However, every year the Ivy League always produces an upset in the tournament. This year it was Yale and Yale upset Auburn. And yes, our nerds are nice like that. And finally, we have the boring UConn that blows every team out by 30. And now for my second point, I got former Connecticut players. First up, I got Calvin Murphy, who was originally from Norwalk, Connecticut, and in the NBA he averaged about 17 points per game. He was also a baton twirler back in the day. I guess the zest never stops. Next up, we got Vin Baker, who was also a former NBA player who averaged 15 points per game throughout his career. He went to Old Saybrook Senior High School and was a former D1 athlete at the University of Hartford. And now we got current famous athletes. The first is the notorious Andre Drummond, who went to St. Thomas More High School. And then there's Donovan Mitchell, who wasn't really from Connecticut, but he had a short stint of playing high school ball in Connecticut. This was at the Canterbury School and the Greenwich Country Day School. And then there's the greats of the school, famous UConn players. First up is the best shooter of all time, Ray Allen. And then there's Richard Rip Hamilton, who was a former NBA player for the Pistons and the Bulls, averaged about 17 points per game, and is the second highest UConn scorer of all time. You guys are wondering if he's the second, who's the first? Well, the first is Chris Smith. The first is Chris Smith, who leads UConn in scoring. However, he had a terrible NBA career, and his rookie year, his shooting percentage from three point was .143. And finally, we got Rudy Gay and Amiki Okafar. But before we go into all these ranked players, there's two things you should know. There are two high school academies that are absolutely stacked at basketball in Connecticut. The one is Putnam Science Academy, the other is the South Kent School. These schools have been going at it for years now. And in 2023, Putnam Science Academy won the National Private slash prep school tournament for the second year in a row. Both these schools have produced a lot of ballers and here are some of them. In last year's video, I posted people that were ranked in the class of 2023 and where they are going. But where are they now that they are in college? One of the brightest stars on this list was El Marco Johnson. Like most people on this list, Johnson was from out of state in New Jersey, but played in South Kent School. As I said, South Kent and Putnam Science Academy are one of the biggest leaders in basketball products. Johnson was ranked 20th in the national class of 2023, and he currently plays for Kansas and averages about 18 minutes per game. He also averages about 4.3 points per game. Next was one of Johnson's teammates, Papa Conte. Papa Conte also played for South Kent School, but committed to Pittsburgh. He has since not played. Next is this list's biggest star so far. We got white boy Gavin Griffiths. Gavin was born and played high school ball in Connecticut. He was ranked 34th in the national high school class of 2023. He currently plays for Rutgers and averages about 18 minutes a game and 5.8 points per game. Next is Mohamed Diabati, who originally is from New York, but played ball, guess where? 
Yes, the Putnam Science Academy. He's now a freshman in college and is at the University of Alabama. He averages just about three points per game. And finally, we got Connecticut's hero, King Kling Kong. Donovan Klingen is a Bristol native who was born and raised here in Connecticut. Last year when I posted him, he didn't get too much game time, but now he is probably the centerpiece of the UConn offense. There's really not too much to say about this guy. He's a draft pick for the NBA this year, and let's see where he goes. There are a couple notable ranked Connecticut players that are graduating in the class of 2024 this year. First is Tyler Betsy. He's from Windsor, Connecticut. His high school is St. Thomas More, which is the same that Andre Drummond graduated from. He's currently ranked at four stars and he's committed to the University of Cincinnati. We also have Nate Gurungamba. Gurungamba. We also have Nate Gurungamba, who is originally from DC but plays at South Kent School. He's ranked at three stars and is committed to the University of Massachusetts. Our final ranked player from this class is Amdi Nadia, who is from Putnam, Connecticut and currently plays at the Putnam Science Academy. He's a three star ranked player and is currently committed to Pitt. Final player I want to talk to you all about is not yet ranked, but he is an absolute bucket and I put him on my list last year. This is Landon Krieger. Landon Krieger. What? Huh? Landon Krieger is a current high school freshman and is from Guilford, Connecticut. Slam High School posted him in his 8th grade year and he was an absolute bucket. As an 8th grader he could dunk, he had a great dribbling package, had an amazing finishing layup, and he could shoot the lights out. He currently plays with Notre Dame West Haven and won the CIAC championship this year. He hit a buzzer beater in the semifinals to advance his team to the championship game. Have these reasons convinced you why Connecticut is the most underrated state to play ball in? It sure convinced me, but that's because I live in Connecticut and I'm the host of this. Feel free to subscribe or check out my other videos and thank you all for tuning in.